the coolest, probably the coolest part of this process is I've been able to be on the calls with the voice actors and I've been able to hear what they can do with the lines I wrote and the characters I made up and they're making them so much better than I wrote them. And that's what, that's what's been so cool is they've been able to take this and really evolve it. Welcome to San Diego Comic-Con 2024. I am here with Cradle. Let's talk about it. Let's get into it. First of all, before we talk about it, let me, uh, let's introduce you guys. Let's uh, just go in a line. Hi, I'm Will White. I'm the author of the books and of the screenplay of the adaptation. There you go. Hi, I'm Jay Oliva. I'm the director. I am Maxine Phoenix, and I am voicing Yaren. I'm Morla Gorondona, and I am Elder Whisper. I'm Phil Lamar, and I'm voicing Cyrus. All right, well, let's get into it. First of all, Will, talk to me about Cradle. Uh, why did this animation feel like the right medium to bring this to life, and why did you want to approach it through a Kickstarter? So I've always been really inspired by anime. That was a lot of the influences that went into writing Cradle in the first place. A lot of the times it gets described as like anime on paper. So I always have envisioned this as sort of an animated adaptation. So when I heard from Jay and the Lex and Otis team, I was really excited to, to bring it to life. And then Kickstarter, it was always a self-published series. So I always, uh, I love the fact that there's nothing between me and the fans to develop the series. And so we wanted to go Kickstarter to try and keep them involved sure. as much as we can. And then we wanted to tell as much story as we could with the funding we got from Kickstarter. And that's what we're doing with this project. Interesting. Now, Jay, uh, what brought you on to this project? And talk to me about the animation style a little bit. Uh, so my buddy Matt Yang King uh, said, hey, have you read the Cradle series? And I said, is that a series about bo uh, babies? And, <laughs> and he's like, no, 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 you should check it out. It's martial arts. And, and so I had my manager reach out to, to whoever had the, the rights, and it actually ended up being with the Whites. I got on a Zoom call with Will, and I started doing my spiel of who I am. I said, hey, I'm this, this, and this. And Will's like, JJ, uh, I know who you are. Yeah. I'm a big fan of you. He's like, I just wanted to meet you. And I was like, this is a cool meeting. I don't have to really go through my whole song and dance. And so I told Will, I was like, listen, I love your books. I was already, I think I was only like three books in. But I told him, like, I love this moment. I wanted, I, I, I had, when I read it, I had already scored it and animated it in my head. I was like, let me bring this to the fans and let me make this. And I told Will, like, why don't we do kind of the director's version of this? Like him looking back, has it been eight years or seven years now? Uh, it was se it's, it's been eight years, but okay. it's seven years uh, from start to finish. Yeah. Year. So I told him, hey, you know, seven years ago, like now you get to change uh, what, uh, not change, but do your version of it. Now looking back, what would you kind of, what would you smooth out? What would you kind of establish earlier? And I think he was, he was, he was uh, really jazzed about that idea of going back to his baby and kind of like re-looking at it from a different lens. Interesting. Now for you guys voicing the project, tell me a little bit about your guys' characters and, um, and uh, what got you on board? Um, I'm happy to go. I voice Yaren and she is just fierce and hilarious and has a soft side that I think she doesn't like to show but I think we definitely see moments of in this project which is really important I think because one of the things that drew me to this was she's so well written and that's on Will. I mean you know especially in the genre sometimes you see women and they are really strong or really powerful but they don't really get to be more than just that they're either you know the sansa and they're like very vulnerable and beautiful and tragic or they're the aria and they're like bad like you know you you get everything um in yaren you you get a fully dimensional woman who has love for the world and hope even though she fights it sometimes because she has trust issues and don't we all? Um, <laughs> I can relate. But yeah, it's just been a, a joy bringing her to life and, you know, getting to go on this journey because she has a lot of growth. And That's it's exciting. amazing. Now, how about for you? What, what was it about your character for you that resonated with you? Well, I, uh, that resonated. I, you know, I really, I loved, I love a good um, creature kind of creature half human like finding what that voice will be like like that's a beautiful challenge I love creature voices in general and I love a character that you don't really know how to feel about them and this is that's that's this that's this character completely and so I I love I I started with what I thought the character was going to be something kind of breathier and 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 kind of like like 
like wispier and working with the team to get it grounded and adding canine elements to it were it was a lot of fun and it really was collaborative um you know you, sh you show up with what you think it might be and then the more you learn about you know what their idea is and this person's idea but everyone everyone you know it all mixing it together and having this beautiful beautiful um soup <laughs> is coming to mind but it's um yeah, it was collaborative, and uh, she, it's a really cool character. It's amazing. You know what's interesting? Let me just interject: is that uh, Elder Whisperer's character in the books is a male, is a male uh, character. But when I heard Morla's voice, I was like, "Oh, it's perfect!" Because in my head, I was thinking of uh, Princess Mononoke and the oh. wolf, and and that, and how that was. And I was like, "Oh, that's perfect! I think that's the way we should go about this." And I, I pitched it to Will, and he's like, "Sounds good!" And so that, that's how we got you. A true collaboration. I love it. Now, Phil, you've shaped so much of my childhood, uh, and actually my adulthood. I've, I think I've heard you uh, at least in my life at some point in time. Uh, what attracted you to this project? Can you tell me a little bit about your character. Well, actually, uh, I mentioned Cyrus. I'm also voicing a couple of characters because that's one of the wonderful things about this job. And like on camera, you can't just play one character. But um, what brought me into this was not just choosing sure. a character. It was because um, Jay and I, well, our mutual friend, Matt Yang King, introduced me to the Cradle series as well. And because uh, we had been working together on a D&D &D themed project. And so when I found out that Jay was doing the animated version of Cradle, I was like, yeah, can I be part of that? Yeah, I always like working with my friends. So it was easy to get all the casts. I was like, hey, you guys want to be in this? Can you do me a favor? Can you jump on this? And I, you know, when I heard that Phil was available, I was like, thank you, Lord. So I always like to work with Phil. You and me both. Oh, I love working man. with my friends, too. Now, uh, Will, uh, you have uh, DC Legends here with yeah. you. Uh, how was it working with them and uh, sharing you know, the collaboration process on Cradle, working with uh, Jay and Phil here? So it was amazing. It was 10 out of 10. That was the <laughs> the coolest, probably the coolest part of this process is I've been able to be on the calls with the voice actors and I've been able to hear what they can do with the lines I wrote and the characters I made up. And they're making them so much better than I wrote them. And that's what <laughs> that's what's been so cool is they've been able to take this and really evolve it. And one of the one of the best things that I learned in this process was obviously Jay and Lex and Otis, they aren't picking actors to work with they don't like, right? They're, sure. they're working with their friends. But it's the attitude, it's the professionalism, it's how great they are to work with. That is what has been so A-plus and so astonishing to me. Everybody we've had on this project has just been fantastic to work with, and I'd love to work with them again. That's incredible. Yeah. I mean, on that note, I think that's a, a great place to end. I mean, I've, I think that's amazing. Uh, enjoy your Comic-Con 2024. Cradle looks phenomenal uh, and sounds phenomenal, too, with you guys in it. But thank you guys so much for stopping by our Screen Rant Room. We appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.